Hi there. In this video, we'll talk about the sell or process further decision, which is a very common one in relevant costing and management accounting. It's also one of the easier types of decisions. When we consider sell or process further decisions, really it comes down to a couple of major components. First, first, how much revenue would be received if we sell the product as it is before any further processing? And two, how much revenue would be received after processing the product further? And then third, how much will it cost to produce the product further? A sell or process further decision can be illustrated kind of like this. You undertake some sort of production to produce a product up to a point which is sellable. All of the costs up to this point are called joint costs. And it turns out that all joint costs are irrelevant as to whether or not you should sell the product at what we might call the split off point or at its earliest sellable value or if we process it further. After the split off point, we can actually add additional cost to then sell the product for more money later on. So in this example below, in exhibit 824, here we have a company that produces a product that it can sell as is before further processing, in essence for $250,000. Or it can add additional costs of 37,500 to produce an upgraded version of the product that could be sold for 350,000. At the early point, the sellable product here would be olive oil, but then this product over here is a value-added dipping oil. Well, as this panel here illustrates, you could set up your scenario in two or three columns, essentially, to identify that if we sold the product as is, we'd get $250,000 in revenue for it, and that would be the total net benefit added to profit. Notice here that we're not deducting any of the costs associated with producing the oil. And that's because, as I said before, they're not relevant. It doesn't matter what they are, they would be incurred regardless. Our true decision comes down to whether or not we should sell the plain oil as it is, or if we should add the incremental cost to process it further. And in terms of the differential analysis, you can see here that's exactly what they're doing. If you process further, you can get $350,000 in additional revenue, less additional costs of 37,500, that will give you net profit of 312,500. Again, notice that there's no joint cost taken off in that scenario either. Again, because the joint costs are not relevant. Essentially, all we needed to do is identify the difference between the incremental revenue and the incremental cost. Well, this difference of 100,000 represents incremental revenue to the company, and the 37,500 represents an incremental cost to result in an incremental net benefit. Of course, if it cost more than $100,000 to process the olive oil into the gourmet dipping oil, then you would end up with a negative net benefit and that would be a loss and you wouldn't want to proceed with that decision. So when it comes to identifying our decision rule as to whether or not to sell a process further, it's quite simple. If the extra revenue or what we call incremental revenue exceeds the incremental cost of processing further, then you would go ahead and do it. If the incremental revenue is less than the incremental cost, you don't process further and you sell the product as is. So now let's work through this in-class problem on selling and processing further. We've got a company that produces meat for different labels and the company processes beef cattle into three different products, steak, hamburger, and hides. An average steer costs $700 and the products are the result of a process that costs $100 per steer to operate. And the output from one steer can be sold for the following amounts. So you can get 100 kilograms of steak, which you can sell for $400. You can have, at the same time, 500 kilograms of hamburger at $600 total, and 120 kilograms or the hides that can sell for a total of $100 for a total of $1,100 per steer. So let's draw a picture of what this looks like. Our joint costs include the steer and any processing so the steer costs $700 and the processing is $100. So it's a total of $800 that goes into the process. At some point, which we can call the split off point, we have three separately identifiable products. We have steak, we have hamburger, and we have hides. Now each of those products can be sold at this point, right after the split off point. The total revenue from the steak would be $400. The total revenue from the hamburger would be $600, and the total revenue from the hides would be $100. Alternatively, we'll do this in green, the company could take the steak and process, and process it into gourmet dinners. So that 100 kilograms of steak can be used to make 400 dinners, and the additional components in the dinners would cost $120. Other production sales and additional costs are $350 for the total 400 dinners produced, and each dinner would sell wholesale for $2.15. So 
So if we start to add this to our diagram now, there is going to be some additional costs that get put into the process. We have $120 for the food components and additional $350 for the rest in order to be able to sell the dinners at $2.15 per times 400, that's total revenue, $860. The hamburger can be made into frozen patties at an additional cost of $200. And so taking that whole 500 kilograms of hamburger, the frozen patties would sell for $1.70 per kilogram. Extending our diagram for hamburgers, at an additional cost of $200, we could now sell patties at $1.70 times 500 kilograms for a total of $850 in additional sales. Finally, we've got the hides, which can be sold uh, as is, or they can be tanned. And the cost of tanning a hide is $80, which they can then sell for $175. So if we add that to our diagram, we now have an additional cost for tanning the hides of $80 to produce tanned hides. There's one of them at $175. So that's $175 in total additional revenue. Now that you have a diagram that helps you see what we're dealing with, we can proceed with the requirements. The first is, is to compute the profit if all three products are sold at the split off point. So the split off point is the same thing meaning as is. So for requirement one, if sold as is or at the split off point, we will have revenues for steak, hamburger and hides. And the revenue would be for steak would be 400, for hamburgers 600 and hides of $100. So that's total revenue of $1,100. We can subtract our joint costs if you want to come up with a profit of 800. And so the company will end up with a profit of $300. Now for requirement two is let's do the profit of all three products are processed further before being sold. If we process further, we've already determined that the revenue is going to be $860 for the steak. The hamburger would be $850 and the hides would be $175. We can then add our additional processing costs. And from our diagram, we know that to process the steak further will cost 120 plus 350, so that's $470. It will cost $200 to process the hamburger further, and will cost $80 to process the hides further, which will now result in an incremental profit. So when we take revenue minus cost, this is incremental profit. For steak, that's $390. For hides, $650. For hamburgers, $650. And for hides, $95. For a net total profit of $1,135. Our third requirement is to see if we can be a little bit more strategic about this and compute the profit at the optimum mix of sales, either at the split off point or as is, or by processing further. Well, here's the real and the most efficient way to approach this. What we would do is we would identify our three products, steak, hamburger, and hides. Identify the sales at the split off point. So the steak is 400. If we process further, the sales would be $860, which gives us incremental revenue of $460. And then if we subtract less the incremental cost of $470, you see we actually end up losing money on the stake. This results in an incremental profit or loss. So we have an incremental loss. If we look at the hamburger, we could sell the hamburger at the split off point or as is for $600. If we process further, we'll get $850 for it for an incremental amount of $250. If we subtract our cost of $200, this will result in a profit of $50 added to income. For hides, if we sell the product as is, we'll sell it for $100. If we process further, that's $175. So the additional revenue, incremental revenue, is $75. And then if we subtract the cost to tan them of $80, well, this also results in a loss of $5. So our decision, now maybe those numbers are a little bit familiar because when we were working on part two way up over here, notice that we had revenues of 400 for steak sold as is and incremental profit of steak if we processed further. Well, that's a change or a loss of $10. If we look at the hamburger, $600 versus 650, well, that's a net change of $50 positive. And then if we look at the hides, that is 
100 sold as is, an incremental profit of 95 sold as is, so that is a loss of $5. So we actually already did this. So our decision essentially is to not process the steak further. We will process the hamburger further and sell the hides as is. That is the optimal solution based strictly on incremental revenues versus incremental costs. And once again, those joint costs of $800 for processing the steer are irrelevant because they will still be incurred whether we sell the products at the split off point or processing further. The steers still need to get processed. So these costs are not relevant. So now if we want to see what the total profit is of our optimal solution, we'll have our revenues from our three products. We'll have steak, hamburger, patties, and hides untanned. The steak would be $400. The revenue from the patties is $850, and the hides are sold at 100 for total revenue of $1,350. And that's versus $1,100 if everything was sold at the split off point. And that differential, right, again, this is $250 that comes from processing the hamburgers into hamburger patties. If we subtract our costs, we have joint costs of $800, and then the cost to process the patties of another $200, which brings our total cost to $1,000, and therefore our profit or operating income of 350 versus the $300 of selling at the split off point. And that is solely due to the additional incremental profit that comes from selling the patties. And that is how you do a sell or process further problem.